All right. Um, I'm just gonna say something. Um, you know, as for my channel, there'll be some videos that I had put from public to private. I will be eventually, sometime down the road, putting them back to for your view and pleasure back to public. But as for my side, I don't want them snooping or watching any of my videos on my ch YouTube channel anymore. Otherwise, I might be, how would you say, making a whole new one and stop um, putting videos on this channel. Um... Due to things, I kind of just want my own privacy on my channel. And I just hope everybody understands things. Now, I am doing experiments with clear resin and alcohol ink, and this is one of them. I'm hoping that if I can do this real good, I can pop out some nice real nice pendants in that. Um, I want to get more alcohol ink from Hobby Lobby and I guess the I'm not going to run back there and say that they made a mistake but the stuff I got from Hobby Lobby today was not on sale but one of their cashiers and apparently me didn't notice there was two resin molds stuck together. So they only charged me for one. When I got home, that was when I noticed the mistake. I'm like, oops. So, apparently they gave me, their cashier gave me one for free. Without charging me for one. Um. And I hope, you know, maybe... After all of this is done, you know, but like I said, once if this okay, um, this is part of the other one. Um, I accidentally pressed a button, but this is. Um, but anyway, uh, just gonna have to, yeah, it ain't totally dry yet, but how would you say it's more like, uh, But, I just, like I was saying, with my YouTube channel, and I hope my family understands, it's just, you know, when you want more... Just want more, um, privacy over your channel. So, um, Which I hope they all can understand. 
my situation. Um, I just want, like I said, a better, you know, I just want a little better way where I can use my channel and, um, to the way I want it. So, um, it, it's like, like, I don't want to tell my side, you know, just kind of respect my channel, you know, it, it ain't really going to hurt anyone of what I say on my channel, you know, but... I'll say when I post them, uh, videos, um, like I said, um, it, they're going to be mainly about is, there'll be some other videos I'm going to post and they're just going to, you know, talk about what I want you all to know about um for instance I've ran into a lot of things with some guys before I met my husband and that online but like, like I said I think like in the one video that I will be posting It'll, it talks clearly about, you know, how a real scammer is. Yes, they are a real person, but they ain't who they're claiming to be. Like that Clark Morgan, whoever he really is, let's put it that way. Um... was claiming to be, like I said, this this person is claiming to be basically Clark Morgan. Um, But, um, when he was claiming to be Clark Morgan, I believe he, the guy blocked my cousin Lauren's husband at the time. So, like I said, you know, a scammer, when someone knows that they're a scammer and they're trying to tell a friend or family member or so, um, they legitimately are going to black the person. They're going to be upset. Even if, I think like my Uncle Steven at the time... And Robert Guild, um, my cousin Lauren's husband, were both saying, Levon, Clark Morgan ain't who he really is. He is a scammer. He is trying to have you send money to him and try you completely broke. Like I said, before I met my husband, I actually fell for this guy. I didn't go sending any money, thank God, though. I didn't buy anything and sending money all the way to Africa. 
Um, I think like when the guy called me on the phone and he had, he didn't have an American accent, but he could speak perfectly English. <coughs> he, um, he had an African accent. So, like I said, you, you just don't know anymore with some people, and like I said, I don't think really, you know, a lot of things I don't admit, but, and like with the, around the time when I was first going to going out with my husband that was when I think the military scammer messaged me. I had to have my uh, meet me friends at the time because he was friends with me on meet me the military scammer and on Facebook and I had to send people through messages the link to his Meet Me account and to his, um, Facebook. They were able to check his Facebook and Meet Me and everything, and then they said that they went and on websites that checked U.S. records and that. And they checked even with military records, and they said this guy... Even though he claims he's from Germantown, Wisconsin, but is stationed in Saudi Arabia, it's not who he really is. He is just pretending to be a military person that probably stole photos and made up a big story trying to hook you. So... Like I said, I, I'm happy with my husband and like I would tell anyone, there's nothing like meeting a person in person and getting to know them and holding their sweaty hand, you know, actually seeing them in person. Rather than just talking to them online. But there are some guys that are just players that just play with women's feelings. That's another thing I talk about in the one video. Both videos. You know, they don't really care about any woman. They just like getting the attention from any women. But I've had guys online tell me there's women that do that to guys as well. So, you know, and when I got to be with Arnie, my husband, and married, I kind of know that he was serious, basically, but like I said, after you've been played with, I think like back in 2014, I was still leery of if this was really true, or if he was going to do like the other guys. You know. There was a lot of things he just... Which I hate to say, don't know sometimes nowadays, but... Um... As for now, like I said... Even whatever I say about work... eventually will be will be posted eventually um 